on the NHL front, uh, are we going to have a new all-time goals leader? What do you think? Is single vetch going to get a pass Gretzky? Yes. I, I think it's going to happen. He's 115 goals away. He's 36 years old. If you'd asked me two or three years ago, I would have said, I think the chances are less than 50%. Yes. But I think he, I didn't think he would still be the focus of Washington's offense. I would, th- I would have thought they would have brought other people in and it would have cut into his ability, right? right. So you're talking about scoring 40 goals a year for three years or 30 goals for four years. I I think he can definitely get 40 to 50 each of the next two years. It's that last year when he's 39. What's the team look like? But if you sell, if you ask me, what are you going to bet on it? I'd say, I would say he's 60, 40 that he's going to make it. Um, I hope he does. I really like Ovechkin. Um, I think that, you know, for a long time, people viewed him as a one dimensional. This is all he does. Right. But you know, no, is he a great passer? No, he's not terrible. But does he do a lot of other things in the game? Is he physical? Yes, he's physical. He does a lot of other things, right? I think we have a maybe somewhat understandable trepidation about thinking that Russian guys are going to stick in the league for a long time. And, you know, a lot of Russian players have either left or they've kind of hopped around from team to team. And I think people for a long time thought, you know, Ovi may just call it and go home, right? Hey, John, I, yeah. He's not that guy. I think he's, and I think he's locked in now. And I think he will work his butt off just like Pujols. He's going to work his butt off to get to where he wants to go. And then that'll be good enough for him, right? I wish Yager would have stayed in the league the whole time, not left and done his thing. I think he, his numbers would have reflected it, but that's fine because that's who Yager's personality is. What I like about Ovi one team, his whole career. I want yeah. to stay there, retire there. I think it's a good look. Uh, I saw him live in a uh, interview uh, talk show, and really cool dude to watch, and very personable. I think he's great for the game. I would love to see it, and I don't. I think Gretzky. You know what? I think he reflects on it, and I, I think he'd be okay with it. I think yeah. knowing is the record could go, and saying you know what? I think you're a good guy for it. So I think that's a nice uh, kind of send off. Obviously, if Lemieux could have stayed healthy, it would have been Lemieux, but that's yeah. not how it works. So it's amazing, you know, how many factors people have to think about this. Number of years, injuries, teammates, luck. There's a lot that goes into this stuff. You know, think about the Ripken streak. Think about what goes into sports. Look at what Brady's doing. It's unimaginable, considering how long the average NFL player lasts in football, which is very slim, seeing what he's doing now, Tom Brady. Then think about Ovechkin. I just think it's good for the game in general. It's good to grow the game. We're talking about it. And it's time to create new all-time leaders. So and and, talk, and and also talking about differences that you have to factor in. Also remember the fact that Gretzky played in an era where lots of guys were scoring 40, 50, 60, 70 goals, right? There were lots of guys out there putting the puck in the net, a bunch, right? Ovechkin has played in an era where 35 or 40 goals some years was the Rocket Richard trophy, right? It was tough to get 40 goals. So for him to do it as consistently as he has for as long as he has, to be able to get even close to Gretzky, it's a pretty big difference I, to me in terms of errors, right? I, I, I don't know. I would have to – it would almost be like uh, what is the the stat-adjusted pitching, right, where you yes. can look at pitchers against errors. You know, God forbid me take anything away from Bob Gibson, Right. But that year where he had the 1.12 ERA in 1968, where the mound was eight feet tall, you know, and he was throwing downhill at everybody. I mean, everybody was good that year. They weren't Bob Gibson good, but everybody was better than they should have been, right? If you put Bob Gibson in the era now, you know, the chances that he throws to a two ERA are almost none, right? If you put Ovi in that sort of 80s environment, how many goals would he have had in the eighties alone? He might've scored 650 in 10 years. You right? think about, so, yeah, you think about that era, the eighties, early nineties in the NHL, you had a 3.3 goals against as a goalie. You're making the all-star team. You have a 3.3. Now you're out of the league. Yeah. And look, it, go back and look at any of the footage. I was watching and I watched a documentary on the world hockey association yesterday. Mm-hmm. And you know, I was, it's an interesting story. And, 
but you're watching the footage and the goalies are five foot 10 and a buck 75. And they're wearing the equivalent of egg cartons on the front of their legs instead of couches. Right. Yeah. I guess the puck's going to go in more then. So I, I really, I don't know the number. I should have looked it up before I came on, but sort of that, uh, let's look at how many goals per game were being scored versus how many are being scored on average for his career. Even Lemieux, by the time Lemieux got into the league and got to be a big star and was healthy and everything else, the league had shifted back and it wasn't quite so offensive. There was a lot more clutching and grabbing. There was a lot more, you know, flat out hitting and stuff like that. It was a lot more contact. I still think if, if Lemieux had been healthy his whole career, I don't know if he'd been a better player than Bobby Orr, but he would be a better player than Wayne Gretzky. You remember goons and enforcers? That was a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All those guys think about the fact that, you know, I talk, I tell people you talk about Gretzky, right? Gretzky had Semenko from day one. Boom. Semenko's there to cover him. And they had a couple other guys like that too. They weren't rockheads. Semenko was a pretty good player, right? Lemieux had nobody because he was huge and they thought, Oh, he can take care of himself. And he got the crap beat out of him for like three years until they finally went out and got a couple of guys, Rob Brown, guys who could protect him a little bit, right? Yes. But for three years, he just got destroyed in every game. And if think about how much better even those three years would have been if he had somebody else, if he had Dave Semenko or if he had Bob Probert or somebody like that, somebody to watch his back, right? But it wasn't. It was it – was, it was Mario Lemieux and 15 other guys who may or may not have been players in the league on any other team because they had tanked so badly to get him. There's a great documentary about that, about how the guy who ran the team that year will not admit that they tanked to get the number one overall pick. And everybody else was like, yeah, we tanked. Like, look at the guys that we had on the roster at that time who never played in the NHL again anywhere else. We tanked. You mean like when Cleveland drafted LeBron and Pittsburgh drafted uh, Sidney Crosby and the ping pong ball was taped to the guy's <laughs> hand? Come on. Come on. We you were all talk- knew that was going to happen. You were talking about 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 Ovechkin finishing his career with the Washington Capitals. And I hopefully I hope that happens. I hope it's not a Marty Broder to the Blues situation. Right. <laughs> but. And Brodeur did that because he thought he was going to get a big spot in management, right? And it didn't end up, end up working out, I don't think. But how crazy would it be if the Penguins traded to get Ovechkin at the end of his career and you put O.V. Crosby and Malkin together on a line for a year? That would be insane. Think about how much fun that would be. That's called an all-star team. And uh, and I you don't... wouldn't have anybody else on your team. It would just don't be those need three guys, else. right? Don't need anybody else. I hope he stays with the Capitals. I hope so. 